my crochet friend welcome back to another video this is Bruna and today I'm going to show you how to crochet a succulent plant pot that turns into coasters and for this one because I love tea so so much and I know a lot of you guys also love tea I've came up with the idea of adding a teapot coaster to this little set and this is how it turned out I I think this is my favorite ever because it looks so cute and if you love tea like me you will have the perfect tea set for you to decorate your table and enjoy your tea with this beautiful coaster set so I really hope you enjoy and now let's begin with the tutorial So I'm going to be starting with this copper yarn and my 3.5 millimeters crochet hook. If you have a more soil shade, I would say go for it because it's going to look amazing. But this is the only brown shade in cotton in this weight that I have at home. So this is the one that I'm going to be using. So leave a tail for the weave-in. And then I'm going to be making a magic ring. And then I'm going to be chaining two in which is not going to count as a stitch. And now you're going to be working 15 double crochets into the ring. Pull the end nice and tight, the little tail, to close the ring, just like so. And now you're going to slip stitch into the very first double crochet. So here's round one. So to move up into round two, we are going to chain two, not counting as a stitch. And then into that same one that we did the slip stitch, we are going to be working two double crochets into the same stitch. So now you're going to be working two double crochets into every stitch around. So we are going to be increasing into every stitch around for round two. Go ahead and slip stitch into the very first double crochet. So here we have round two and now we are going to be doing round three. So chain two does not count as a stitch. And then we are going to increase into this very first one that we did the slip stitch. So work two double crochets into the same stitch and then one double crochet into the following stitch. And that is the repeat for round three. Increase and then one double crochet into the following stitch. So next one is going to be an increase. So two double crochets into the same stitch. And then the following one is going to be one double crochet. So now repeat that all the way around and then into the last one, into the last stitch, following the pattern, I have finished here with one double crochet into the last stitch. And now I'm going to slip stitch into the very first double crochet. So this is basically the soil. <laughs> so I'm going to now chain one Cut off the yarn, leaving a tail for the weave-in, and then fasten off. And now you can bring the shade you are doing for the leaves I am doing with this green. So now with the green, make a slip knot. So you can choose any stitch around to attach the new collar. I'm going to be doing right after the fasten off here. So go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Attaching already with a single crochet and this single crochet is going to be the very first stitch. And then into that same stitch work another single crochet. So we have an increase right at the beginning. So now we are going to be doing one single crochet into the next two stitches. And then into the following one, it's going to be an increase. And that is the repeat. So one single crochet into the next 
two, and then increase into the following one. And then repeat the same steps all the way around. So at the end, you are going to be finishing the round off with one single crochet into the last two stitches. And now all you have to do is to slip stitch into the very first single crochet. Just like so. So here we have round number four now completed with the 60 stitches that we need. And now we can move on into the last round for our coaster. So let's begin with round number five. So chain one and then single crochet into the same stitch that you did the slip stitch. And then we are going to be skipping two. So one, two, and then work four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four into that same stitch. And then chain two and you can do a pico. You can get the back stitch of the very first chain. So it's going to look like this. So this is the first option or you can. And then the second option. So you're going to get the front loop of the last double crochet and then any stitch that it's basically at the bottom of the front loop. And then you go into slip stitch. And then into the same stitch work four double crochets. And here we have the first little leaf completed. So we have four double crochets, the pico, and then four double crochets into the same stitch. So now we are going to be skipping two and then single crochet into the following stitch. And now we can do the leaf again. So skip two into the next stitch, work four double crochets, all into the same stitch. So four double crochets, and then you can do the pico. So chain two, slip stitch. I do at the front because it gives a better finishing in my opinion, but you can choose however you want to do it. And then four double crochets into that same stitch to complete the leaf. And then skip two and single crochet into the following stitch. So now continue following the same steps until you have 10 leaves in total going around and then I'll meet you right at the end. So I got here at the end, I have five stitches left and here I'm going to be making the last leaf. So I have leaf number 10 now completed. Now you're going to be skipping two going into the very first single crochet. Make sure that it's nice and tight when you pull up a loop and then you go into a slip stitch. Now we can chain one, cut off the yarn, fasten off and now we can do the weave-ins. So now here we have the coaster now completed. This is the beautiful design that I've decided to do because it looks really cute. And when you put it together, it looks like a succulent. So I'm pretty happy with the design that I've chosen for my coasters. And you're going to be making as many as you need. I usually make four, always, always. So I have all the four coaster is now completed. They look absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, I love them. So now for the holder, you have two options. If you have plants hanging around the house and in your kitchen or your dining room, 
then you can actually make this little basket. This one here. I have the tutorial already on YouTube. I'm going to be leaving it here in the little eye, also in the description. So feel free to check it out if you want to make the basket. So you can hang the basket and then you can place all your coasters inside here. It's going to look the cutest thing ever. And because I have this one already on the channel, I wanted to show you a pot that you could match with these little coasters here. So I made this one. It's so cute with some peacocks on top and some little detail here. And also you can use the pot pattern that I have in my previous video doing this flower coaster set, as you can see. I'm going to now show you how to make this one. So let's begin. So now I'm going to be using the corded yarn for my pot with my five millimeters crochet hook. So let's begin with a magic ring and then chain one in which is not going to count as a stitch and then work eight single crochets around the ring. Close the ring once you are done with the eight single crochets. And then now you can count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is stitch number eight. And then we are going to slip stitch into that, into the very first single crochet. So now chain one, in which is not gonna count as a stitch, and then into the same stitch where you did the slip stitch, work two single crochets. And now work two single crochets into every stitch around. So you're going to be having 16 single crochets going around for the second round. And now you can slip stitch into the very first single crochet. Now chain one and work two single crochets into the same stitch where you did the slip stitch. Now for the third round, you're going to be doing one single crochet into the following stitch and then two single crochets into the next stitch. So one single crochet into the following stitch and then two single crochets into the next stitch. Follow that all the way around. The last one is going to be only one single crochet. And now slip stitch to the very first single crochet and now for round four chain one two single crochets into the very first stitch where you did the slip stitch so now work one single crochet into the next two stitches and then increase into the following one so two single crochets into the following stitch so the repeat is going to be one single crochet into the next two stitches and then increase into the following one. So repeat that all the way around. At the end, you will have two stitches left. So just work one single crochet into the last two and then slip stitch to the very first single crochet. So here's the base completed with four rounds. And now we are going to be creating the pot going up for the length of the pot. So we start with a chain one and then into the same stitch where you did the slip stitch, back loop only. So we are doing this next round back loop only. So back loop only into the very first stitch and then single crochet, just one. And then now you're going to back loop only and single crochet all the way around. So I go into the last one, back loop only, stitch 32, there we go. And you will see that this round is already going to start to fold because we are now working just going around to create the length. So now slip stitch into the very first stitch. So now for round number six, we are going to chain one, single crochet. We are going to be using from now on the entire stitch. Single crochet into the very first stitch. And now you're going to single crochet into every stitch around following the stitch count of 32 stitches. So last one, single crochet and slip stitch to the other side. So now we are going to be making some little squares into the following round. 
So start with a chain of three. This one is going to count as a stitch. And then you're going to be skipping the very first stitch where you did the slip stitch, the following one, and then you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch, just like so. And now the repeat for the following round is going to be chaining one, skipping one, and half double crochet into the following stitch. So chain one, skip one, and half double crochet into the following one. So now just keep on repeating the same steps all the way around and then I'll meet you at the end. So when you get at the end, you'll have one stitch left. This one, it's from the slip stitch. So chain one, skip one, the last stitch, and then you're going to slip stitch into the second chain. So now for round eight, chain one, and then you're gonna go straight into the chain one space and then work two single crochets into that chain one space. Now you're going to work two single crochets into every chain one space. So we are going to now skip the half double crochet and work two single crochets into the chain one space. And now repeat that all the way around. So when you get into the last chain one space, work two single crochets into that chain one space, and then you're going to slip stitch into the very first single crochet. So now you're going to chain one and single crochet all the way around. So once you get at the end, slip stitch to the very first single crochet, and now you're going to be repeating one more round exactly like the previous one. So chain one and single crochet all the way around. So now slip stitch to the very first single crochet. And now here you can decide if you wanna do more rounds for the pot, but this is the perfect size for these coasters. So before I add the last round, it's measuring four centimeters. This is the height that I've decided to do and here at the bottom it's seven centimeters. So now for the last round, chain one, single crochet into that same and very first stitch, just like so, and then chain two, slip stitch into that same stitch. And now you go into slip stitch into the following stitch and single crochet into the next one. Chain two, slip stitch into that same stitch. So now the repeat is going to be slip stitch into the following stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, chain two, and slip stitch into that same stitch. So now you can just repeat the same steps all the way around. So I made my last little pico here and I have one last stitch here at the end. So you're going to slip stitch into the last one and now you can just chain one, cut off the yarn and we can now weave in the two little tails that we have here. So now the pot is completed and this is how it looks like. So, so cute. And now the last thing, because we are not going to stop right here. We have now the coasters completed, but I want to do a little coaster for the new, yes, my new teapot that I bought today. So I got this new pot from a charity shop today and I had the idea of making a matching coaster for my teapot. 
So that's what we are going to be doing. So that's the little extra in today's video. You are going to be making the three rounds that we did with the copper. But we are going to then add one more with this color because then it's going to cover a little bit more the bottom of the teapot. So I'm going to be starting with a chain of two and then increase. So two double crochets into the very first stitch. And now we are going to be doing one double crochet into the next two stitches. So the repeat is going to be simply two double crochets into the next stitch and then one double crochet into the next two stitches. And then you're going to be repeating this all the way around. So following the pattern, you will finish with one double crochet into the last two stitches. And then slip stitch to the very first double crochet and now the base is done. So I'm going to chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off. So here's the bottom of my teapot and you have to do the circle exactly to the size or if you want you can do a little bit bigger. Mine is exactly to the size as you can see. So with the green make a slip knot and you can attach this yarn into any stitch. I'm going to be doing right after the fasten off, so this one, and I'm going to be attaching with a single crochet. And then we are going to be doing another single crochet into the same stitch so we have an increase at the beginning. So now for the following round it's going to be a little bit different because we need to have the multiple of six so I'm going to be kind of changing it up here at the end. So work one single crochet into the next three stitches And then into the following one, increase. So two single crochets into one stitch. And then you're going to be repeating that. So one single crochet into the next three stitches. And then increase into the following one. And you're going to be repeating this all the way around until you have 12 stitches left here at the end. So that we have 72 stitches around because that's a multiple of six. So I have my 12 stitches at the end, as you can see, this is how it's looking like. And here we have an increase following the pattern, increase and three single crochets. So now we are going to single crochet all the way down into the 12 stitches that we have left. So one single crochet into every stitch down until you have covered the 12 stitches here at the end. So when you get at the end, we can then slip stitch to the very first single crochet. So now here I have the 72 stitches that I need in which is a multiple of six to create the leaf detail now that we are going to be doing. And you are going to be following exactly the same steps as we did for the coasters, but you will have more leaves than this one. So as you can see, if you follow the same steps as the coaster, you will also finish exactly the same way because we have the correct stitch count. So I have a single crochet here, skip two, and then I'm going to be doing the last leaf and now to finish it off skip two and then slip stitch into the very first single crochet. Now chain one, cut off the yarn, fasten off and now we can weave in all the little ends we have here at the back. So now we have everything completed. We have the four coasters and then the teapot coaster as well and the little pot. So how are you going to be putting this together? So you're gonna get the biggest one first, the biggest coaster. That's going to be the first one. It's gonna go right at the bottom. And then you're going to be putting all the others on top. 
basically stacking them all together like this. So now is the fun part. So you're gonna get all the five coasters and the pot. And all you have to do is to push this inside the pot, the plant pot, just like so. Just pushing it down inside the little holder. <laughs> oh my God. At the beginning is going to look like this. So what you wanna do is to just twist the ones in the middle just like so, kind of bringing them together. <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute. And this is, no way, this is so legit. It looks like a succulent, oh my god. <laughs> so this is how it looks like from the side. The little plant pot and oh my, oh my gosh. So let me show you my inspiration. So this picture was the picture that inspired me to make this. Look at it. It's actually pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at this. No way. I'm so excited right now. And also I wanna show you guys how it looks like inside the little hanging basket. And this is how it looks like inside the little basket. So you can just hold it and then you can just grab the little coasters. And when you wanna use it, you can just pull one and you can lay on the table like so. Oh my gosh. So the pot goes right here and then the mug right here oh my god <laughs> look at the little pot the little pot is so cute look at this oh my gosh <laughs> i can't this is so cute look at this so this is how you crochet the succulent inspired coaster set with the little plant pot it looks just the cutest thing ever and let me know in the comments what you guys think and also if you are going to be making it because it's just the cutest thing ever and now to add to the coaster series we have the flower pot coasters and now the succulent coasters <laughs> which one do you guys prefer let me know in the comments I cannot choose. They both look so stunning and so pretty. Look at this. Mm. <laughs> and if you guys end up making it, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, on TikTok, at Brunaticality, so I can see your take on this one and the colors you guys will be using because you guys choose the best colors ever. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching everyone. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up as you always do. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch more videos like this one. So I really hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.